Good afternoon, Pokesports, and welcome to another amazing edition of the Shark Dad Goes Through the League Spectacular. Uh, this is actually from the semifinals of the July 2021 League. Uh, and as always, I have Kevin here joining me. Kevin, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Kevin. We get to see Toxicroak again. Yay. Yeah. Now, if, if you've watched the other two videos, if not, go and check the uh, cards up in the top. Uh, Shark Dad has been running this interesting, interesting team that includes an Age of Slash and a Dracovish and a bunch of other Pokemon that you don't really see too often. Today, he's going up against Rowan, otherwise known as Mocha. Uh, from our Discord, from our Patreon, all all the the good places that you love to see him. Uh, very active in the Discord. Really like Mocha. He's a great guy. Now let's see if uh, if Shark Dad Xerneas can break through Mocha'sation. This is definitely not a great matchup in Shark Dad's favor, but you know there's ways around it. Sure. Now I mean, luckily Zation was not the lead in in that. Is instead going to be Incineroar uh, dropping the attack of the Toxic Rogue and Xerneas. Uh, the Suicune's an interesting pick. What, what do you actually see the Suicune uh, doing in this matchup? I feel like this is probably just going to be a nice fake out Tailwind just to match the Geomancy speed boost. Oh, that's fair. Could even fake out to stop the Geomancy entirely. Oh, looks like, never mind. Well, I mean, in, in this kind of situation, uh, you, you, oh, well, I personally, I'm not sure if Toxic Croak does naturally outspeed Incineroar. Uh, it, I think looks it looks like it does. Yeah. yeah. But um, usually the the idea is that you should probably be faking out the Incineroar because if you incin if you fake out the Incin, then uh, it can't fake, fake out, out the Xerneas. It can't fake out the Xerneas. What's the point of, of the faking out a Tailwind if you just get faked out on your Geomancy, right? Well, I don't think you can fake out Suicune anyway. In inner focus. Oh, that is Geo absolutely beat. right. Yeah. So going for the poison jab. Uh, now that the Xerneas does have the Geomancy up, it's it's kind of able to run shop here, just naturally outspeeding the rest of the team. Even though Tailwind is up, neither of these two Oof. Pokemon are known for being fast. Oh, look at that. That was a little painful there, sweet coon. Eevee, Eevee to live question mark? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks here comes the Snarl Spams. Oh, will Incineroar do the same thing? This oh. might be the way around the Geomancy here. Was this the team built specifically? <gasps> there yep, it is. There it is. The double snarls just to stop Geomancy. Xerneas is now Bay Xerneas yet again. Fancy. Did you just say Bay Xerneas? Base Xerneas. Base. Yeah, Base Xerneas. There it is. Geomancy. Wow. Unfortunately, that that intimidate coming in clutch with the Toxic Rogue, the Poison Jab is not able to take out the Suicune there. Uh, Would have been able to were its attack not minus one. Now, since the Suicune and the Incineroar kind of made waste of the Xerneas, it's got to feel pretty bad for Shark Dad because he can't Geomancy again this game. I mean, he can, but it's going to take two turns because he already ate up the Power Herb. Right. It's going to be a little little difficult to set up. I I would love to see the power move of just going for another Geomancy. That would I mean, be a big power move. Probably wouldn't happen since by the time Geomancy went off anyway, it would be double snarled again and, and just be, you know, Jeez, these snarls right back. Oh, that snarl's going to hurt. Critical hit on Xerneas, adding insult to injury. Not missing a single one today either. No, no. Uh, the Incineroar is going to snarl this is as well. This dirty. <laughs> doesn't look good for, <laughs> for the Xerneas there. Toxic Rogue's having a four. fine time. Toxic Rogue doesn't care. Yeah. Negative four Toxic Rogue doesn't care. Negative two Xerneas cares a little bit. Is actually going to take out the Suicune with a critical hit. Just that that one KO confirm uh, from the Poison Jab. I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel like Toxic Rogue is doing much this game. If I'm gonna be... Well, it's gonna do a little bit less now that Zacian's out. Yeah. Only has poison moves against Zacian. Yeah. Is this one of those situations where the the... Uh, team combination just makes things not work out. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this is just one of those situations where Rowan, also known as Mocha, came with an idea, and the idea mm -hmm. was to stop the Xerneas, and he knew exactly what he had to do to do that. Yeah, that is fair. Come in with, with a build that you know is going to outbuild your opponent's build and hope for the mm -hmm. best. Because, okay, I mean, I, I, he did also have to run through this entire tournament winning with this team. So just having counters for, for 
Xerneas is uh, yeah stuff. I, I assume he's played a Xerneas once or twice in his whole <laughs> <laughs> in his uh his preparation for the tournament. Might Ooh. have seen one or two. The Zacian setting up the substitute, knowing that there's going to be some kind of of swap in this game, just getting a very very safe switch there. Oh, speaking of safe switches, going in for the U-turn up from the Incineroar. It's going to switch out into the Rillaboom. Yeah. It just now, seems like Mocha's always one step ahead of Shark Guy this game. It seems like. It does seem like. Now, at least on the bright side, this does give the Toxic Croak a target. Okay. Here comes the Poison Jab on the Rillaboom. Going to do about half damage. Not bad. Not it, the good kind of half, though. That's like the optimistic half, glass half <laughs> full kind of situation. Yeah. And I don't know. Right now, it just seems like Shard Dead set himself up to get intimidated by Inc Incineroar again. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel a little bad. Now, Shark Dead does have the opportunity here to uh, show off some Ooh, predictions. Okay. Setting up the quick guard for the fake out, which is going to be used on not the Dracovish, but unfortunately not going to connect. Unfortunately for Mocha. Oh, let's see if he gets another chance to do this, though. Use the behemoth blade Sayonara. on the Toxic Rock. Bye bye. Big dog bites. Sia, bye bye. Toxic Rook's going to go down. Fish. Now, this fish is random to take out the uh, to take out the sub. I mean, it is going to take out the sub, but uh, what does it matter at this point? I mean, at this we're point, we're about to see some grassy glides. Yeah, at this point, Zacian can kind of just set up another sub and not care too yep. much. Very smart move switching into the Volcarona here. Because at least this way, you can redirect some attacks into Volcarona that Zacian can't really touch, and you might get a lucky True. burn. Problem is, the Rage Powder is not going to affect this Rillaboom. Shark Dad needing to make a very tough decision here. Do I go for the Fish's Rend on the Zacian? Do I go for the Fish's Rend on the Rillaboom? Do I want to take out the thing that's going to Grassy Glide? Do I want to take out the thing that does a billion damage? There's still some pressure on Mocha's side of the field too because Mocha can't just switch into an Incineroar and then give up Incineroar to a Fish's Rend that easily. Because remember, when you switch mm. out, Fish's Rend will still do the double damage if you switch. So it's not, it's not an easy decision. Oh. Did make maybe the right prediction. I didn't actually see who. Shark Interesting. On. So the instance coming out to intimidate, not the not the Volcarona, but indeed the Dracovish. Uh, that vicious Ren going to be doing a ton of damage. Zacian going for the protect. Oh, if only, if only we saw the the choice, the the tough choice that uh, the Shark Dad had to go for the vicious Ren on the on the Rillaboom didn't end up going for it went for uh wait went for the zation instead it's not over yet this volcarona though can, can still do some serious work with the heat wave of course you have the incineroar fake out that's always an option this turn fake outs everywhere welcome to series 10 but absolutely i mean the game is still it's still not it's still not over by any means this volcarona is serious no. pressure because even with the the rillabooms in the back the zations on the field that's two things weak to fire I, I mean, I, I think the main point here is to take out Ooh. this uh, Zacian. If Zacian can go down, we've we've got a win condition on our hands. Let's see how much this does. Behemoth Blade on the Volcarona, not going to do, again, the optimistic half. And not going to see the burn either. It does get the connect with the Heat Wave, doing a lot of damage to Zacian. Wow. Yikes. Crit on That's Zation. a nice critical Still hit. Still no burn. Critical hit wave. right when he needed it. Right. Dracovish returning some HP. Volcarona getting some HP back. That does mean that a Behemoth Blade is uh, very unlikely to take it out. Uh, we could chalk up that uh, optimistic half, as I call it, to uh, variance in the 0.85%, but, uh, or the 85%, the but. Uh, with that extra healing from the grassy surge, probably not. The mm -hmm. next hit is going to take that out. Probably not. It's like Mocha's just trying to cycle through fake out users at this point. It's the only way to break through this Volcarona. Yeah. Shark Dad making the, still the, the tough prediction of going again for that. 
Rillaboom. That was a respectable amount of damage, to be entirely honest. And the heat wave miss on Rilla, that could be big. The heat wave missed is pretty fatal. But Mocha can't miss a snarl. <laughs> 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 Doesn't feel too great. That swap in right before Grassy Surge goes down uh, also feels a little bad. It is a smart idea here to just go for, uh, you know, some safe plays. Um, Rillaboom will likely go for the fake out on the Volcarona just so that it doesn't, um, you know, get the double KO with a, with a fake out. We could also see a Rillaboom switch out I here. I gotta say, though. But that's not I feel happen. like the Dragovish is sitting nice and pretty as long as there's no... Uh play rough on this Zacian. He hasn't used it yet. That is true. He did predict the fake out correctly. So there's the fake out on the, yeah, there's the fake out on the Volcarona. The Behemoth Blade is pretty much the only thing that, that, that the Zacian could do. Uh, so now the Volcarona does have free reign to go for that uh, Heat Wave as well as the, the uh, Dracovish with the Vicious Rend on. It's kind of whatever it wants at Looks this like point. Looks like he's going to predict the switch into the instant. There it is. Shark Dad's not going down without a fight. That's true. That's true. However, is it going to be enough? Even at minus two, that is a vicious rend going on to an incineroar. At double damage. Because it is on the switch in. Wow, that Zacian just staying alive. Yeah, even at minus two, that's enough to take out an incineroar at half. You know out. what? Grassy Terrain is back in play. That is true. Rillaboom's. Grassy terrain may be back in play. However, so is Protect mm. on Shark Dad's side. The the tables had turned pretty quickly in this game. Things are looking pretty good for uh, for Shark Dad all of a sudden. Ooh, this is a good game. I think uh, what failed here on Mocha's side is just lack of preparation for this Volcarona. This Volcarona is allowed to stay alive for way too long. Yeah. Battle's canceled. There it is. And then the battle was canceled. Mokin knew that this was just going to go into a protect followed by a heat wave. Uh, grassy terrain probably wouldn't have been enough to take out the Volcarona by any means. No. And then in the back, you still had this Arnius yeah. at practically full health. So that's already hard enough to beat. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's move on into game two. They're going to be choosing the exact same Pokemon. Uh, now, again, this... Uh, th this Pokemon roster consists of uh, uh, Xerneas, Toxic Rogue, um... Dracovish, uh, Aegislash, Volcarona, and Tyranitar, as we can see here. It's a, it's a sand-focused team uh, that also kind of benefits from, from different forms of weather here. Uh, I think this team mm -hmm. is actually pretty interesting uh, by Series 10 standards. Mm -hmm. The Mocha's running the Zacian team with Incin, Relicor, and also the Regilecki. Not playing around this Liege going hard. Mm -mm. Also, the Suicune has a secret little pocket pick and the Landorus Eye. I think, what do you think, Ro what do you think Volga has to do to take, uh, take this victory? I think that, I mean, taking out the Volcarona, like you said, it is definitely important, but the question mm -hmm. is, how is he going to actually do that? Uh, Volcarona is definitely a solid pick on Shark Dead's side. Uh, so I guess we're, we're just going to have to see. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Landorus Incarnate can, can definitely do what's needed to be done, but also, Suicune in some situations might be able to handle that. Mm. Just need to I'm not also lose thinking that the, early. The Dracovish has to go down too. This Dracovish is another situation where Zacian can't really touch it. Right. You have the fighting move, but that's it. Right. Can't Behemoth. I uh, can't like Behemoth play the Dracovish won't do too much. Both of these look individuals. Snazzy. Yeah, I know, right? Both of them look good. <laughs> Both of their trainer cards are fully filled out. Like they've been playing this game. They are in it to win it. Do you have so much in-game money? Same leads. Wow. Huh. I think Mocha realizes that his lead wasn't the problem by any means. Right. Right. So we're going to have to see what uh, what what Pokemon Mocha, Mocha switched it up with. Because he's going to have to. If, if the Volcarona comes back, then, you know, this this team just isn't isn't enough for it. No. If Volcarona comes back, then you have Azation and Rillaboom in the back to not do anything to Volcarona. Unless he really tries to preserve the Suicune a lot longer. Right. Also, kudos to Shark Dad in the last game for realizing Suicune was the only problem for his Volcarona and attacking it immediately. Right. I th Interesting Ooh. play. We're just going to withdraw the Incineroar right off the bat. Switch out into Zacian. Okay. Not wasting any time. He knows he's going to get fake out at anyway. Might as well make a switch. Very smart. 
Right. Right. So Toxic Oak going for the poison jab on the Suicune. Looks like we're Switched just like up. last time yeah. trying to take out the Suicune. The Moonblast also on Suicune going to double into that. Uh, brings it less than half. However, this does trigger the Citrus. It also uh, gives the Suicune an opportunity to set up the Tailwind. Interesting. I mean, I guess Shark Dad realized there's no point in burning my Geomancy here. They're just going to double snarl at me. Both teams really switching it up. I really like that. I do like that. Yeah. Choosing, yeah, just choosing not to use the uh, Geomancy at all is is really strong. But I mean, look at look at this turn too. Uh, Zerni is faced with the Zation on the other side. Does not want to stay into that. That's uh, so wait, terrifying. Obviously, we're not plus gonna two, do that. plus yeah. two speed Zation. <laughs> so on Shark's side, oh boy, plus two speed Zation. So on Shark Dad's side, is he going to swamp that out or is he going to keep that in? We're just gonna have to see. He's going to withdraw the Suicune from Mocha's side. Win condition. He's realizing it. Very good plays. He knows how important mm. the Suicune is. Now, the thought may have been that Shark Dad was going to swap out the, the Xerneas, but we did see that that didn't happen. In fact, he did swap out the Toxicroak for the Volcarona. Now, that's a smart play against the Zacian mm. right there. Uh, not only does it take out the double Intimidate from Toxicroak, but it also keeps Zacian in there to go for a protect going for the behemoth blade on the volcarona that's which as we know does a little bit more than half a little bit less than half oh flame body kicking <gasps> oh, in no. i was gonna say it was a smart move for mocha to switch targets from the xerneas expecting the protect but it's also smart that shark dad switched in the volcarona there just to get the burn Kind of covering all of his bases. If if the, the Zacian had targeted the Xerneas, he would have been hit with Protect. If he targets the other Pokemon, would have been hit with Volcarona. These are some good players, folks. Mm -hmm. In comes Fish. In comes Fish. Volcarona's turn to Protect. Vicious, Vicious. Fake out. Wow. The predictions on this, the Incineroar targeting the, the Volcarona, Volcarona faking it out. Behemoth Blade going to go on Dracovish. That's not good. It's fine. That's, that's a fifth. That's about a fifth. That burn putting in some work, though. That would have done 44 more damage than it did. Which would have that's been uh, less than less than less than half. More than half. That's bit. the math. Somewhere. In the yeah. middle. It would have been in, like, greenish yellow. <laughs> that would have been less than half. Ooh, that would have been a two-hit KO on the on the Dracovish, but now Dracovish actually has the space to, to stay alive a little bit longer since it only did that for that initial 44. Rowan going to withdraw the Incineroar here in favor of Suicune. We still don't know what that fourth Pokemon is. We're going to have to yeah, see. he's hiding it. Bring in back in the Suicune, realizing the Suicune's the only win condition against the Volcarona. It's also a great switch in for this vicious friend, which still does too much damage. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. We're not missing a heat wave today, are we? No. Okay. We're hitting that heat wave on the week. We're not going to do all that much damage, though. It is a water type. Get that burn. Oh, with the tail and petering, though, this is a nice chance for uh, the the Dracovish to either target the Zacian, which likely will protect in favor of Suicune going for another Tailwind mm -hmm. uh, or target the Suicune to try and take it down. It is going to target the Zacian. That's uh -oh. a little spooky. I feel like Shark Dad's not giving the same respect to the Suicune that he did last game. However, it turns out it was a prediction and we're just Yikes. not as good as them because they Bada drew bing. that. Yikes. That's a Instead dead we're now sin. putting... Yeah, well, maybe... That's putting the. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe negative. Maybe. What was it? Negative one, negative two. That's a minus two. Oh, okay, that's a that's minus why. two Dracovish. Volca Almost taking out the Volcarona. However, this is a tanky there's Volcarona. There's that Citrus. It's a tanky Rona. Going for the heat wave. Let's not get a miss on the Incineroar for this, as it will be enough to take it out. Goodbye, Incineroar. Suicune's going to hang in there a little bit longer. Get it. It does mean we're not going to get a fake out off of uh, Incineroar as well. It all depends on what the last is. Let's see if Mocha actually shows it to oh, us. going to be the Rillaboom. same. Here comes Rillaboom. It is the same combination of Pokemon. However, the shoe seems to be on the other foot as Mocha does seem 
rather ahead right now. So we can didn't go for the, the tailwind in the last one, went for the scald instead to try and do as much damage to the Volcarona as possible. Uh, but now we do still have a, a, a Rillaboom out able to go for a fake out. This is very interesting mm. because Zacian is burnt, but I'm pretty sure Zacian could still 1v1 the Xerneas, which is why Mocha wants to preserve it, regardless of the burn sure. or not. So now it's just uh, how can Mocha find his way around this Dracovish? Right. That was a really good switch. So we can go in for the Scald on the Dry Skin Toxic Rope. So there's what I'm talking about with the uh, with the different, uh, you know, element based play. So much synergy that, that Shark Dad's been doing. So much synergy with this with this team. Now the fake out option is on uh, Shark Dad's side of the field. That's true. Not on Roboom. However, Roboom does have the Grassy Glide. So the the trouble with Roboom is that we always have some sort of priority to look out for. Mm -hmm. Uh, so quick guard is always an option. However, the poison jab is just obviously going to be doing way switching more switching it up to, to wood Roman. hammer. There goes Drake. Oh boy, that's a big old hammer on the Drake. So that was very smart on Mocha because Mocha knew from last game that this toxic croak has quick guard and he couldn't go for the grassy glide because of that. Yeah. Could just fully waste a turn on that, on that. Uh, can we just take a moment to respect how close this real boom was to going down because of that wood hammer real boom goes down on its own terms mike <laughs> it just didn't happen now keep in mind this is xerneas has not popped the geomancy yet it still has that option oh, oh no and there's no zation to contest right now Ooh. so will shark dad can shark dad even go for geomancy would there be a reason why he wouldn't? Looks like he went for just a straight dazzling gleam here. Prefers oh, to get the double to try KO. And get the double KO. Yeah. He does still have a Pokemon in the bag. I think he just realized he just feels like his Volcarona can easily one v one the Burnsation, maybe. That's fair. That is fair. Yep, as long as we're trying to take out the Suicune early. Uh so on Mocha's side, knowing that, the right play may be to swap out the Suicune here, sack the Rillaboom. Um or at least try and get some damage off from Rillaboom early. <gasps> oh, instead the of opting for the pocket helping hand. pick helping hand. Didn't expect that one. Followed by the wood hammer. Is this the way? Goodbye, Xerneas. That's one way of dealing with Xerneas, folks. Rillaboom going down on its own terms. <laughs> Rillaboom going down on its own terms. Toxic Crow going for the poison jab. Now on the Suicune. Is it going to be enough to take it down? It is not. Oh, no. Tank meta, folks. <laughs> Tank meta. That's that's really not good for Shark Dad. Shark Dad uh, now having to deal with a Suicune and a, a uh, Zacian in Tailwind against this Volcarona. Yikes. And and right now, the pieces are just kind of falling in all of our heads right now. Uh, what the next turn is going to look like. Doesn't look good for Shark Dad. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I think Monka definitely did a lot better preserving a sweep in this game, which is exactly what we were saying in Team Preview. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't let that thing go. Right. And so because of all those puzzle pieces, the thing that, that kind of throws off all of those predictions does involve a protect. That is why it has the, the word pro inside of it. <laughs> Here comes the protect now. I'm sure Moke is looking at that saying, ooh, I've got to take out that Volcarona. That Volcarona looks tasty. So maybe I'll, I'll give it a nice little scald there. Goes for the scald to protect. It's going to protect it. Couldn't have gone for the scald in the Toxic Croak anyway. Will that... Taking out the sweet. Will this sub be enough? I mean, it was a smart sub. Truly, yes. Because it does buy him one more turn at least. Well, we know how much damage a, a behemoth blade does to a Volcarona. How much does a burnt one do? Who knows? Not nearly that much, actually. Oh, you're right. It wasn't burned last time. Going for the faint. Can't yeah, go for anything and try else. And break that. No, because he can't. Can't go for that. He can't yeah. poison jab. I mean. At this right. point, all Zacian has to do is hit the full Corona. Can ignore the uh, Toxic Croak. Completely. Well, 42 HP left. Doesn't matter. He's going to hit it twice. 
Sub's gonna break here next turn. Bye bye, Volcarona. Uh, that was a good sub. We'll see. We'll see. We do have grassy terrain up right now. Let's not forget about that. That is also terrain. fair, yeah. How much damage did it do before? Not 54. Not 54. Okay. And did lose the tailwind. Isn't going to matter. We have two more turns of this. Could this come down to a uh, to a heat wave miss? This it might could be decided by a heat wave miss. We'll see if that actually happens. Got the faint on the Zation again. Get as get as much damage as possible on this. The behemoth blade on the Volcarono. Ooh, well, lives it at down. eight. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it missed. It came down to a heat miss. It missed. Oh, you can release that Volcarona after this game. <laughs> oh, get that Volcarona out of my party. <laughs> oh, going for the protect just to try and stall it. You know what? Maybe let's uh, get a get a super crit on this faint. It's just burn turns at this point, right? <laughs> it's burn turns. Yeah, we're playing burn times here. I Remember that there's still a sash on this Toxic Croak, so I mean, it is a pretty good strategy to burn we stall here, I'd say. Here. Yeah. I, I would honestly I go for like the double at that I point. I would go yeah. for double as well, yes. However, we know the Shark Dad luck uh, going into this, so. Oh, we actually hit the second Protect, though. Never mind. There it is. Not bad. This game isn't over yet, folks. <laughs> I I fully wrote off this game. I did. Oh, good sensation. Oh my gosh, it's going yeah, it down is. slowly. Time for the triple? <laughs> Shark Dad taking like a second every time to look at Toxic Rook's kit saying, do I have anything? Do I? Personally there, I would go for the triple, but I'm greedy. There is truly no reason not to. Yeah. Just taking it out with a sacred sword. Saving the Behemoth Blade charge is likely. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. We we can still get a faint crit here. That is true. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Whatever happens this set, it's a good set. The Behemoth Blade taking out the not taking out, well, it won't be taking out the the Tox Crook as you mentioned. It does have a sash. Not that it's going to hit it. Burn making a big difference here. Burn making a huge difference. If only this Toxic Crook had protected, be enough. Yeah. Oh, I, I can just feel the sadness emanating from this faint <laughs> here. Oh, Bringing it down only. to likely 5 HP. And that'll and be a GG, the folks. Blade. It's going yeah. to game three. We're going to game three. That was probably one of the... in In my two years of playing Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. This feels like the closest battle that we've had. In a very long time. At least that we've commentated for sure. Yes. Right? Yes. That was, and these are some high level plays too. These are some good switches. If you guys are learning anything from these videos, just you'd be writing notes at this point. Because like these players are playing so well. Right. Right. The best part is uh, Series 10 isn't anywhere near uh, finishing. So Please do learn from this. Go take this into practice. Use the team, man. Like it's it's so solid. Also, big shout out to Shark Dad who did share us the rental code and the Pokey Pace with this team. Now that he, now that the league has ended, he made mm. his team public, and you guys can go ahead and at least try out his team with the uh, Toxic Croak, the Age of Slash, Volcarona, etc. Absolutely. Can we go and put that in the comments below? Can we put that in the description, Kevin? Can we do it? Yes, we can do it. We can remember. All right. All right. The If we haven't remembered, please do leave a comment. Go and check that it's there. If it's there, leave a comment saying it's there. If it's not, leave a comment saying it's not. If it's not, I'll pin it. I promise you. You think they change anything up? I, uh, I think that game was so close 
that I wouldn't from Shark Dad's side anyway. I wouldn't change anything about it. I think I would just hope to not be unlucky. Yeah, that's true. We, he, I think he also has to refocus the Suicune. Right. Realize that Suicune's the only thing stopping this Volcarona from winning the game, along with the, the Heat Wave miss. It does make that thing. first turn incredibly stressful if Mocha does send out the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. you no idea. Is he is he going to remove the uh, Incineroarization? Is he going to lead with Sation? I, oof, I'm, I'm anxious. Suicunization. It, it is does lead be with Sation. I don't know about this. Leading with both your win cons turn one is kind of spooky. Yeah. We're going to have to out predict the second game on, on Shark Dad's side. Mocha just needs to focus on that, on that Xerneas. Xerneas going down is absolutely the win condition here. Oh, there it is. Fake it on Zation. Mm hmm. All by the Geomancy, turn one Geomancy. So we know what turn two is going to look like, but the question is, uh, what what can Shark Dad even do with this plus two Xerneas uh, on the second turn with, with Tailwind up? If the Tailwind goes up, I feel like Shark Dad's kind of put against the wall, has to protect that turn and swap in the uh, Volcarona to at least redirect the attacks away from the Xerneas. I feel like it's almost no other option. Yeah. The trouble here is that it, I, I was thinking the exact same thing. It's a free and turn for Zacian. Usually <laughs> if I'm thinking the exact same thing, then they might know exactly what's going to happen. Mocha might know exactly what's going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was, so you think he was forced to swap out that Suicune for the Incent? It's either he does that or he loses his, his Arrhenius. Hmm. Regardless, the Xerneas had to protect this turn, I think. That's fair. But with so obvious a play, I'm I'm worried I'm curious if uh oh no, it's it's going on the it's going on the Zation. Mocha had nothing to lose here. Mocha now just put himself yeah. in a situation that he could fake out the Volcarona. And now the Xerneas can't hide behind to protect. Eek. Making a tough choice. Do you really go for the Rage Powder? Do you go for the Heat Wave? Or do you go for Protect? No, there's no way. What would you do here? Would you go for the Rage Powder? I would go for the Heat Wave and then swap out the Xerneas. Just, mm. just take the L on the Geomancy. Yeah, I mean, that is... That's the unfortunate thing, is you take such a risk by keeping the... Oh, no. Oh, no. It outsped. Mocha, Mocha not making any big plays, going for what's straightforward. And that is how you take care of Xerneas. Bye bye, Xerneas. And the Volker on the flinch. Game three is always tough for me to look at because I'm I'm always just running through so many lines of of you know possibilities in my head. Now the only problem I see here, yeah, is that Zation did its job. <laughs> Zation can go down without without worrying about anything else. Mm -mm -mm. Now remind me, uh, fake out and rage powder. Fake out has higher priority. Yes. Yes. Rage oh. powder is plus two. Fake out is plus three. Ah, uh, so the Volcarona couldn't have gone for a rage powder that last turn, huh? Yeah. Then faint is plus four. Oh, no, quick guard is plus four. Faint is mm -hmm. plus two. Yikes. Yikes. There, there truly was not much that Shark Dad could have done in that situation. No, he was pinned really well. Mm hmm. Zation going to protect here. That impending heat wave, I think. Not going to do nearly what he needs it to do. That Ficious Ren going to be protected. The heat wave going to be protected. Let's see if we can at least hit the Sweek in. There you go. Negligible damage. Mm hmm. Tailwind gonna Peter. Toxic Not group gonna relevant. come in. No. Uh, uh, yeah. 
There's a chance. Ooh. Is that a fish's friend on Suicune I saw? That might I have mean, been he's a definitely on Suicune you saw. He's definitely respecting Suicune more. Sadly, there's not many Pokemon on Shark Dad's side of the field that can really one-shot it. It's going to take some chip. Right. And how many turns of chip can you sacrifice while taking free Behemoth Blades to the face? Well, if you're Zacian, you can take about mm, 20. <laughs> so here comes the Toxicroak. Shiny Toxicroak. Let's, let's, not, let's not ignore that. That Oof. helping hand on the Suicune is such a good choice. That's a plus one helping hand boosted Sacred Sword. Not going to be enough, though. Wow. Surprising. But what that did do is that it forced Suicune to go before the Fish's Rend, thus reducing the damage oh taken from my. Fish's Rend. <laughs> Mocha's that playing, done Mocha's double playing chess. I'm, I'm here commentating yeah. checkers, but Mocha's playing chess. <laughs> that should have done twice as much. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the Rillaboom. Here comes the Boom. Both players not changing their teams in any of the sets. That's crazy. Didn't need to. It was so close in, you know, both of the first two sets that it, it all came down to just how you played it. And this right now is one of those examples, just how you play it. You poison Ooh. jab the uh, the Suicune slot, swaps into Rillaboom, and probably going to take out this Rillaboom. Yep. Goodbye, Rillaboom. Just Rillaboom. fodder there. Wow. I mean, hey, you set up grassy terrain on the field. We got some health back on Zacian. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, what happened with Zacian? Nothing happened with Zacian. Zacian hasn't taken damage. The Volcarona ran away. Scared mm -hmm. of Suicune. Bring back out the Incendor. We're going to dampen both of uh, those physical attackers. Intimidate, bring down Toxic Rook's attack. Intimidate, bring down Dracovish's attack. Uh, oh, neither Incendor's of them really want to be in there right huh? now. Incendor might be pretty good. Kind of looks like. Maybe a solid B tier. Big lol. That's a weird tier list you're putting together. <laughs> you're putting together a tier list with Incineroar in the B tier. I've been thinking about putting Carnivine in S. I had to really dig deep just now to <laughs> remember <laughs> who Car what Carnivine is. <laughs> Dracovish going back. Got to clean up those Intimidates. Yep. Now, I mean, the nice thing here is that there's there's no uh, uh, Tailwind on Mocha's side. For now. For now. I mean, there sure, sure we can be, but not happening. Uh, Volcarona taking that, you know, just under half damage. Flame Body, though. Comes in clutch again, 50%. The thing like with Mocha is that Mocha does not respect this Toxicroak at all. No. Is literally waiting until Toxicroak's the last Pokemon because he just knows that it only has Poison Jab and Faint to hit right. with. Right. So why even bother hitting it, you know? Flame Body is coming in real clutch this time. Going for the double into Zation. Well, kind of double. I still call it doubling in. You're targeting the Zacian with whatever can be targeted. Mm -hmm. And at least this time, Faint can do something by breaking through the Zacian Protect if that's what he decides to go for. Yeah. Now, what can this Incineroar do? Oh, the Incineroar can Snarl. We've seen that. This could also just be a swap. I mean, this is a... Uh, we'll see. It's going to be a Protect. Not Good faint. matter in a second. Good Faint. Yeah. Great Faint. Look at that. I guess that Shark Dad does not go down without a fight. Oof, Great Zation. damage. Oh, that's such good damage on the Zacian. <laughs> the Switching flare it up blitz. to Flare Blitz. The f Ooh. We have not seen a Flare Blitz from this Incineroar yet. <laughs> that feint was so smart. I think uh, I think Zacian has to start respecting this Toxic Croak a little more. <laughs> Might have to. However, again, we know how much. No, wait, <gasps> it is burned. I was about to say we know how much damage Zacian does to a Volcarona, but no, we don't. It's burned. 
Let's go for protect. I don't believe it has enough to knock out the Volcarona there. I think uh, last game it was at 42 and it still lived at age 8 HP, so it only does about 30 somethings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dracovish going to come out at 18. That's not the kind of health you want on the Dracovish. No. Here comes the protect from the Volcarona. I think, I think this to... I think this game comes down to this turn. It's the Behemoth Blade on the other Pokemon. Yes, it is. That was the one way to deal with that Incineroar. It's now gone. Oh, no. And now there's nothing left in the game to deal with that Suicune in the back either. This one's looking a lot more one-sided than before. <laughs> Oh no, this was Shark Dad's only chance to uh, uh, go for another heat wave on the Zacian. I mean, we, we do get one other fake out. That is a good point. We do get one more fake out. This is kind of a repeat of last game. Can really just ignore this Toxic Rope for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Not entirely, because Not if entirely. it's Suicune versus Toxic Rope, Toxic Rope wins that because Suicune can't touch it. It only has Scald, Helping Hand, Tailwind, and Protect. Right. Withdrawing Zation is the only play. Very nice. Very well played on Mocha's side. That fake out on the Incend, that's going to do some damage. It's going to do critical hits worth of damage. That's pretty nice. Uh, the Heat Wave, though, not going to do much of anything on the Suicune or the Incend. Oh, no. Next goal becomes take care of this Volcarona. Yep. To bring Zation in safely. The rough thing is, how do you how do you do that? Is targeting the Suicune the the play here? Taking that out, trying to take that out with a maybe critical poison jab. Mm. I feel like ever since that turn two, that turn two was pivotal, taking care of the Xerneas before Xerneas got to do literally anything. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I really put this game behind. Now it's just been trying to put put the fire out with a bucket of water, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you have one bucket. You have one bucket. Can and you do fires it? is growing. <laughs> now he does get the poison. You've poisoned the fire. Oh, right. Citrus. Suicune's hungry. Yes. Even when you're poisoned, you always, you always have room for berries. Now that dry ooh, skin, ooh. ouch. Oh no. Oh no. Volcarona is not the only thing that burns. <laughs> oh no. I honestly have never gotten a burn with Flare Blitz that I can think of. Oh, it's like, it was so, it was so nasty. His switch messed up. <laughs> oh, Shark Dad throwing a switch. <laughs> He's back now. <laughs> Threw it away. We love you, Zach. <laughs> There's the scald. Ooh, 11. Can I call it? You can call it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. Yeah. That's GG's. Good. Oh, that's a nice little uh, consolation crit. Pokrona's like, am I doing good, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you've made it this far and you've enjoyed this battle, please do add the hashtag consolation crit in the comments below. <laughs> oh, 10 this points was a good if you can spell consolation. Right? This was a good series. That was a good set, a long set. Absolutely. But I love it. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you. Yeah, that's VGC, folks. I want to thank everybody for watching. This has been a fantastic set of set of games. Uh, please do check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash podcast in the description uh, to learn more about, about our leagues. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Toodaloos. Bye. Bye, everybody.